Okay, in this video I'm going to be introducing the concept of parallel lines. So, if you are looking at parallel lines, then what you need to think about is kind of like train tracks. So, a train tracks doesn't matter whether I'm looking at them horizontally or vertically or diagonally, okay? Train tracks like that, if they're going off into the distance, they are never going to intersect and cross. I know that train lines effectively will cross each other, but this pair of parallel lines uh, will not cross each other because they'll just keep on going indefinitely. And we represent them using add little arrows. Now that also means that I can have another pair of parallel lines over here. And if I want to say, well, they're parallel as well, I need to get another pair of arrows on them. I, essentially, the arrows are used as an, as an identifying mark. That means that these two are parallel. Okay, it's like naming them. They're parallel and they're parallel to one another. Okay, but they're not parallel to each other. Now, one thing you need to make clear on is that parallel lines do not need to be of equal length, like I've drawn them. Okay, so I could just rub that bit off or rub that bit off. Okay, these lines are this line is still parallel to this one, and this line is still parallel to that one. It doesn't matter about length. Okay, and that's how we identify them. And in the next three videos, we're going to be introducing some properties of parallel lines and some interesting angles that come from.